And so we pray for sometimes the impossible. And you and I, we've seen some of those prayers answered. I, I've seen a brother live a life of Job and everything is just about taken from him. A brokenness and a heartache that you can't imagine. And I've seen God walk with him through the midst of that storm. I've seen marriages destroyed in this church seemingly beyond restoration. A brokenness and a heartache, again, that you cannot imagine. And God gave a young man a heart like Hosea, filled with love, filled with forgiveness. And only God can do that. I've seen God at work. I've seen little ones barely holding on to life. Inconsolable parents with nothing but tears to offer. And God in his sovereignty and grace showed up. And he healed her, restored her, not only physically, but an entire family spiritually. I've seen these things. You see, church isn't just for those with perfect marriages. It's for the heartbroken. is isn't just for parents with healthy little ones. It's for those that moms and dads, they pray over their son or daughter each and every night, not sure if they're going to wake up in the morning. It's not just for those of financial means. It's for those that barely make it from week to week. What I'm getting at is this. When you and I gather together to worship God, watch out. God can show up. God will show up. We're always wanting to know, well, where's God at work? We ask that question, and we're supposed to go and join him there. I'm telling you, he's at work right here, right now. Because Christ is preached here. Christ is worshiped here, and he is here in our midst. This is where it's happening. And I'm not just saying Grace Hill, but at the gathering in general of God's people where Christ is the center of it all. That's where God is at work. 